To me, the most amazing thing about the Golden Rule is its omnipresence across history. Researchers have discovered several hundred expressions of the Golden Rule, from ancient and modern sources, as well as from religious and non-religious sources. And when you read through these many hundreds of Golden Rules, as I have had occasion to do, you understand why people refer to the Golden Rule as the most universal, most consistent, and most prevalent moral principle in history. There are three cardinal qualities associated with the Golden Rule. Simplicity, universality, and power. Simplicity. The Golden Rule is a simple message. You don't have to be a genius to figure it out. Simple, but not easy. It is not easy to live the Golden Rule. In fact, some wise souls have claimed that the greatness of the Golden Rule is matched only by the difficulty involved in actually living it. Universality. Here we are not referring only to the universal presence of the Golden Rule across history, but also to its universal appeal. What is it in the Golden Rule that attracts us? The Golden Rule speaks to the goodness within us. It inspires us and it challenges us to become better persons every day. Power. The Golden Rule has this wonderful ability to summarize large bodies of moral teachings in just a very few words. And this itself is quite an accomplishment. Because the Golden Rule is a point of agreement and a common denominator among the peoples of so many of the world's cultures, religions, philosophies, and ethnic groups, it has tremendous capacity for uh, teaching us wonderful values, values such as unity, nonviolence, social justice, economic justice, the promotion of compassion and the teaching of ethics, the promotion of multicultural cooperation, and multi-religious cooperation. The Golden Rule may be the best guide we have for enabling all the world's people to live together in peace. The universal presence of the Golden Rule across history gives it tremendous moral authority. What does it mean, for example, that this moral principle shows up so consistently across the cultures and religions and philosophies of history. Well, one thing it means to me is that to reflect on the Golden Rule, to reflect on the Golden Rule is to reflect from the perspective of a universal wisdom. So what then is the magic and the mystery and the power of the Golden Rule. Some people claim that the magic and the power of the Golden Rule has to do with the fact that unity is its underlying assumption. And if we were to apply this logic to a very well-known and powerful expression of the Golden Rule found in the Hebrew Scriptures, love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself because your neighbor is yourself. Quite a number of famous people throughout history have expressed their understanding of the Golden Rule or have commented on it. People like, for example, Aristotle, Homer, 
Rumi, Charles Dickens, Charles Darwin, uh, President John F. Kennedy, Eleanor Roosevelt, and many, many others. The oldest written record of the Golden Rule, dated 1650 BCE, ancient Egypt. Do for one who may do for you, that you may cause him thus to do. Shintoism. The heart of the person before you is a mirror. See there your own form. Chief Seattle. Whatever befalls the earth, befalls the sons and daughters of the earth. We did not weave the web of life. We are merely a strand of it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. Black Elk. All things are our relatives. What we do to everything, we do to ourselves. All is really one. The Yoruba people of Nigeria. If one is going to take a pointed stick to pinch a baby bird, one should first try it on himself to feel how it hurts. Albert Schweitzer Revere the life of the other as you revere your own life. Maintain and encourage the life of the other as you maintain and encourage your own life. Socrates Do not do to others that which would anger you if others did it to you. Mahatma Gandhi He who seeks truth alone follows the golden rule. Mark Twain Do something every day that you don't want to do. This is the golden rule for acquiring the habit of doing your duty without pain. Bob Dylan you got to do unto others like you'd have them, like you'd have them do unto you. In the 1980s, I was reading through a book on world religions when I came to a page that contained sacred writings from a number of religious traditions, maybe seven or eight. And all of these sacred writings were under the rubric of the Golden Rule. I'd never seen this before. Uh, it really blew my mind. And it triggered in me a, a passion and an energy and a commitment that I have never lost. I think what I realized then is the tremendous capacity of the Golden Rule as a tool for unity. In the coming years, I began to dream of a poster that would depict what I had seen on this page, all of these Golden Rules with their symbols and some type of wonderful visual display. And in the year 2000, that dream came true with the publication of the Golden Rule poster. A year after it was published, 9-11 occurred. And that's important because it was really a cause for much reflection among many people. And the Golden Rule poster really began to make more sense to people. The Golden Rule poster is a symbol uh, for the global human community. On the globe that is at the center of the poster, lines of longitude connect the various continents to one another in a single global human community. There are no lines dividing the various continents into nations, symbolizing, of course, international community. The symbols of the world's religions are surrounded by a circle. The circle is a very important theme in the entire poster. In fact, many of the world religion symbols themselves are circles or partial circles. And the 13 symbols of the world's religions 
uh, make a circle of circles all around the poster. The circle is important because of its profound symbolic meaning. It is found in every religion and culture and symbolizes unity and interconnectedness. If you look at any circle anywhere, you will find that in the circle everything is connected and everything is one. The entire poster could be conceived as a wheel with numerous spokes going out from the central hub which is the globe, the earth, and has the words the golden rule superimposed upon it. From another perspective, the lines that flow from the outer edges inwards toward the globe. The center of the poster, the earth, could also be viewed symbolically as the sun, light, one of the most universal symbols across history.